you welcome. This is Melissa Arma with a stock swoosh. I'm doing a review of this week's options trades on the Gap Options newsletter. So for those of you that have been following me and you're interested in the options newsletter, this gives you an example of an average week. There are weeks where we have more trades than this. This was a holiday week, so I would not consider this a busy week, but it was a profitable week on the newsletter. And I want to show beginner uh, risk amounts for people too. I will do an advanced trader risk, which is what I risk in another video. But this is an average risk of $1,000. You can, of course, risk more. You can, of course, risk less. It has to do with the amount of cash you have in your account. Win ratio for this week was 83%. And again, this is an average risk of $1,000. Profit, 9215 You would have had to do all the trades. If you would like more information, you can always follow me on Twitter. I try to post my TV hits on there. I'm on Fox Business, Fox News, CBS News, News Nation, Newsmax, pretty much every channel. And again, I've been doing television now for seven years, going on eight. Hard to believe. If you have questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. And again, I really make a point of trying to talk to people, answer all their questions before they sign up. If trading options is something you've been doing for a while and you're interested in good trade ideas, this is a good newsletter for you. If you want to learn my system, which is the Golden Gap rating system, I suggest taking the class. That's where you're going to learn how I make the picks. Now, if you want to come up and just get the trades, sign up for the newsletter. There's no prerequisites. You will get the trades in live time. I have good trade ideas. Again, these are options. This is an option subscription service. To be in the live room, you must take the Golden Gap course, but the live room is a room where we call day trades. So this is options. We buy puts and sell them. We buy calls and sell them. I'm not doing any fancy, complicated option strategy. It's based on momentum. We're momentum trading. And you'll see that here in the trades I'm going to go over. So with an average risk of $1,000, beginner trader profits for this week, 9215 Average return on investment was 152%. There were six trades, five winners, zero break even, and one loser. And again, the loser could turn around today, but I, I doubt it. Um, I, I, I doubt it. So I got out of it yesterday. Theoretically, could you still be in the one that expires today? Yes. But I think today is going to be a slow day in the market after the morning uh, just because of going into the holiday. So this was ex the week expiring July 7th. So this was Tesla. Call this on 626. The Tesla 240 puts it expired 77. And again, I usually send out the trades early in the morning. You will get them to your email in live time. Preferably, I send them before the open, but sometimes. I send them during the day, but most of them come in the morning. Cost of this was $550, which is reasonable for Tesla. Two contracts would have cost you $1,100, and you could have sold it in and out, chunked it out, booked the money, and made $900, which is an 82% return investment. So typically, I'm looking for 50% to 100% in a trade. There are some trades where the gaps rate very well, where I'm looking to hold for a bigger target. You also could piecemeal it if you're taking two contracts, get out of one, hold one. That's another idea. But just going back to the call here, which was the put, stock close here, gap down, rallied, dropped, dropped, fell, fell into the target. This was the day of the 26th. Again, that was a put, that was a short, and it was a gap down. So again, I'm figuring all these things out in the morning when I'm calling the trades. So I'm figuring out for you, and then you're getting the trade, and your job is to take the trade. And if you don't want to watch it, you can put a sell order to sell you at 50% or 75% or, 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 or just have to watch it then till it gets to the target. But this was a nice trade that was the end of June. This is the one that's just didn't go anywhere, right? This is CBS, this was a loser for the week. I called the 68 puts on the 27th. For whatever reason, this didn't seem to wanna to get going this week. So it was, there was something about it that bothered me really since the time I took it. I thought it was too, treat, too cheap, but, um, and it could have gone, it could have worked, but it just didn't. Was it the holiday? Maybe, I don't know. But 12 contracts would have cost you 1080. You could have sold out of it on Thursday, saved 10 cents. So your loss would have been 960 again. I got out of this yesterday. You didn't make anything on this. This was a loser. If you were trying to ride this out to today, you can see where it goes, but it never really went right. It never was profitable. Again, some people kill the trades when they're down 50%. I don't do that, but you could. Again, I called this on the 27th here. Stock close here, gap down. It just, it almost was dead like the whole week, to be honest with you. Yes, it was a holiday, but we did have movement in other stocks, so I don't know what was going on with this one. It typically does move. You see a nice move here, a nice fat bar here, a nice fat one here, but it did not get going this week of June, so this was the one loser. 
Then we did Baidu. Baidu was a nice trade on Thursday, June 29th. Baidu gap down again. Every single trade, I am rating the gap. I sent this out before the open in the pre-market. 914, you cannot trade in the pre-market these options. You have to wait till the open. But you're set, you're ready to go. You know what we're looking at, you do it. So this was the 135 Baidu puts. It expired on the 7th. Cost was 225, which was cheap, actually, I thought. Five contracts would have cost you 1125. Sold at 380, profit 775. In and out, chunk it out. Book it. And again, I have the targets in the newsletter. This went through the strike. Return on investment was 69%. The stock I looked at this yesterday is probably still even lower today. But here's where we did it. Stock closed here, gap down, fell, boom. So again, it, it fell yesterday too. Actually, you could have done this yesterday. I did not call trade in this yesterday, but you could have. Anyways, this was, was a nice, nice move here by Baidu. And, you know, when you're looking at something, you're trying to get something and you want to get into it, the best trades actually the ones where we're in and out the same day. But that is not always the case. There are some trades and some gaps that rate very well that I hold longer to get bigger moves. And then there are some that don't go the first day that are actually down the first day that I hold that go then the second day, the third day. In an ideal world, everything goes within 24 to 48 hours. So this was a nice trade to book it, book it, book it, book it in the buy down. Then we did Nike. This was the huge winner for the week. This was the big winner for the week that I called very early in the morning. One of the geniuses of my system is that I can see that a gap is going to work at night in the morning whenever I see it. I got up in the morning on Friday, June 30th at 6.41 in the morning, and I knew Nike was a good gap. It was a good gap. It rated well. I knew it was going to work. I knew it was going to have a big move. Um, and I sent this trade out. I didn't even care that it was a holiday week. I called the 109 puts, and I rated them, and I sent them out three and a half hours before the open. So... You know, it's or three hours before the open. So it's a kind of thing where this is, if you come and you take my class and you learn what I know, you're gonna learn it. You're gonna learn how to see and spot and rate the gap to know that Nike's gonna work three hours before the open, you know? Which it did. This was the biggest trade of the week. 75 cents, you could have paid. You could have paid even less. It's ridiculous, actually. 15 contracts, risk 1125. Sold at 475, profit was $6,000, return on investment 533%. The biggest trade of the week. Nice to get a big mover like this. A precursor to earnings season coming up. This is the biggest, biggest trade we've had in a long time on the Outros newsletter. So nice to see the follow through. And again, huge return on investment. And many reasons for that. Cheap, good gap, had a big move, consecutive days down. Again, this was a short, it was a put. Lots of reasons that this worked out well. You could still be in it. I didn't look at this this morning. I bet it's I bet it's down even more this morning. No reason to hold something into the last day, but you could. Like you, this was a trade where you couldn't have screwed it up. You could not have messed this trade up if you tried. It was a profitable trade for everybody. And again, crazy as it may sound, you could still be in this today. But I am out. Anyways, it was a nice trade. Really, really nice trade. And what happened? Let's look at it. It fell. <laughs> That's what happened. It sold off like a hot cake. Stock close here, gap down, dropped. Boom, 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 boom. And again, one of the nice things, this actually broke 104. Crazy. Was it 103 something? Again, I bet it even drops today. The, the interesting thing is, again, going into earnings season, which starts one week from today, next Friday, July 14th, which is exciting. This is a sign, a sign we're going to have some nice big moves in stocks during earnings season. Nike was an earnings gap. It was. It was a late earnings. Again, this report's late. It was a retailer, but... Long story short, beautiful, beautiful. Biggest trade of the week, so nice to see something like this. And, a, and again, a good sign, a good sign going into earnings season. Then we did a video on the Friday. I wanted this to pop up that Friday, it didn't. It tried, started to, 425, this was a call. So this was a long, actually, we did a long, and it cost $6, two contracts, you could have risked two. Uh, $1,200 sold at $950, $700 profit, boom, 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 in and out. Again, I was looking for the pop in this, closed here, gapped up, rallied. Gapped up here, didn't really go anywhere. This was before the holiday. Then it popped on the 5th, after the holiday, ran over the strike, got out, boom. I didn't look at this this morning to see where this is, but again, you have to book profits. You do not hold trades that are up into the last day unless they're crazy, crazy through the strike, which this wasn't. And again, I was sort of bearish for the market this week with the holiday that it was going to fall. So we'll see when the number comes out here shortly to see where the market really goes today. We have the unemployment number this morning, but this was a nice trade. You take it, you get in, you get out, you book it, you're done. Boom.
but we do go long, which is interesting. That was a long. Many of these are puts, though. Mew was second to Nike. One of the best trades of the week. Called the 63 puts. And Mew, late on Friday. I knew it was late. I knew it was late. I should have done it early in the morning. I didn't. I was busy doing other stuff, looking at things, whatever. I knew it would still go. It did. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it. Uh, 90 cents was the cost of this. 12 contracts. Risk was 1080. Sold at 240. Profit 1800. This is still lower probably today. One of the crazy ones you think, how could you still be in it? It probably still drops the last day. But return on investment with an exit on Thursday, 167%. And here was the most mu. So again, I called it here. It went doom, 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 doom. Again, another trade you could not have screwed up. Profitable every day. Nice trade, fell, just fell. Mm. And again, how do I do options? Based on my Golden Gap rating system and momentum. Momentum, momentum, momentum. So there were five winners, zero break even, one loser, six trades, average risk here of $1,000 per trade, win ratio 83%, beginner trade of profits $9,215, and an average return on investment, including the one loser, of 152% for that particular week. Now, if you just want to sign up for the newsletter, it's $69.99 a year, 12 months subscription, and I have a six months for $49.99. The 12 months is obviously the better deal. The trades are emailed to you in live time, and as soon as you sign up, you'll start getting the trades. If you sign up today and I call any trades today, you'll get them. Or today, if you sign up today or through the weekend, you'll get them on Monday. Earnings season is a busy time to trade, so it's a good time to sign up. So we'll probably will be very, very busy doing more than six trades a week in earnings season. And it's up to you if you want to do them all or not. But honestly, I would size yourself so you could try to do try to do them. So if you have an account size where you don't want to risk a thousand and you want to do them all, risk a 500. But everything I do is based on the Golden Gap 26 point checklist. I get up in the morning and I rate the gap. And like I said, very early in the morning, I saw that Nike. It's important to make money if you're trading. If you're not making money trading, then you probably don't have a good strategy or any strategy at all. Stop losing money. It's halfway through the year. You still can make up the ground if you're behind for the year financially, whether it's at your job, whether it's because of inflation or the economy, or whether it's because of the fact that you're losing money training. You've got plenty of time left in the year to actually get ahead and pull ahead. You've got time, but you, you, don't, you shouldn't mess around. You don't have that much time. I mean, six months already into the year, you can get going for the year and still make money in the market if you can switch things around and switch it up and do better. But you achieve your goals by chunking it out. You can easily make back the cost of my class in just a few trades. Some people can make it back in one trade and have. However, the larger benefit is truly learning the system so that you can use it for the rest of your life. Don't forget your longer term goals. So many traders get caught up in the past. Live in the present moment and keep your eye on the future. If you want to train for a living, you've got to take the class. You've got to understand what I do. Okay. And if you're on the newsletter and just want trade ideas, just sign up for the newsletter because you're going to get good trade ideas. And if you have questions, I will still email you. You can still email me. You can still call me and ask me questions, even if you haven't done the class. I'm, I'm here to help people. I want to keep people as clients, so I'm willing to help people. If you say, I don't know what I th what do you think about NVIDIA? What do you think about Nike? What do you think about this? I will let you know. But the challenges of trading and the benefits of trading is something that people have to weigh the risk versus a reward. For me, it was about the freedom of having control of my own life to make more money than an actual salary job would have. That's why I wanted to get into trading. And the second reason was I wanted a different career because I had been doing mortgages and working seven days a week. And I hated that. I, I wanted less hours, less hours with my job. And so the fact is that I had to do something that was gonna allow me to be able to have a life, a life. I mean, I just had no life doing mortgages. So while it was difficult for me at the beginning until I figured out my system, after that, you know, I've been just pretty much going strong. While I might have a bad day or, or even a bad week trading, I get over it pretty quickly. So, you know, there there is a cost to pay for my class or subscriptions. There's time to do the class if you wanna do it. But once you move through that, once you pay for the class, once you pay for the subscription and you move forward and start making money, you just move forward and you never look back. And I think for people, if they've been trading and losing money, it's difficult for them to ever believe that they could find something that, that's, that they could be successful in. But you can. It's not impossible to make money from the market. Obviously, lots of people are doing it. It's just the fact is that there's a lot of people that lose because they don't have a good system. And it will always be the case. So I know people don't want to lose their principal, but it's not even about not losing your principal. It's about moving ahead. If you have an account with 25 grand, 30 grand, 50 grand in it, you need to be able to turn that money into profit. So the only way you're going to do that is risking money. That's the challenge. You have to be willing to take risk. 
So work through it by starting slow. That's why the beginner risk amount is good if you're new. But financial freedom is important for everyone specifically in this type of economy. I mean, I encourage people to think positive about money and to obviously make money in every way that they can. The nice thing about trading is you can do it from home or even if you work in an office, you can do it from an office too. So if you want to learn my system, it is called the Golden Gap. The Golden Gap system is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist tells you what to trade when and in what direction. The 26-point checklist predicts directional bias in a stock. So you will learn this from me if you take the class. If you don't, I'm rating the gaps in the morning. Like, like I said, that's how I knew Nike would work you know, at 6.40 in the morning. So I'm handling that for you. You're getting the trades if you sign up for the newsletter. If you want to do the class in July, it's coming up in two weeks, July 22nd and 23rd, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Cost of the class is $69.99. Everyone pays the same amount. The class is online. You can sign up early if you want to get in the trading room. If you want to do the trends course, it's July 25th. The combo is the golden gap and the trends. This gives you, this is good for options trades. If you, it, you should really learn how to read long-term trends if you're doing options. Class solution for this is $74.99. Again, a nice deal going into uh, what is the start of earnings season. So it is up to you if you wanna take my class. It is up to you if you wanna just sign up for the newsletter. Think about doing one or the other or both. And if you have any questions, email me at melissa at the stocks, Have a great day, everyone.